Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So the buy side has been dominant here in the overnight session, but ES is set to open near key resistance here at 2103.75 to 2106, which marks the all-time high. And it continues to be a valid area of resistance until it's actually taken out. And it is an important inflection point. Now, eventually, the market is going to break one way or the other. We have been balancing in a range for the last week or so. And continued balance near this all-time high can result in a breakout to fresh highs. And then above 2106, there is no hard resistance. So in the event that we do get a breakout above 0375 to 06, just keep in mind that there really isn't any hard resistance or reference point beyond 2106. And at that point, it's really more about where the range gets exhausted or if the market just short-term gets exhausted and then starts balancing again. On the downside, we have support at the previous close at 97.75 and then the initial support zone at 93.5 to 95.5. Now, if the buyers are going to remain in firm control, ideally you want to see the market holding above initial support and it may even hold above 97.75 and continued balance above that area can, of course, result in a breakout and in order for that breakout to take place we are going to have to see sustained upside momentum broad market strength and the other markets also participating in the move um, absent any of that it can make it a riskier breakout and uh, more prone to failure but you know this area has been tested several times over the last two to three days and the more times you bump up against resistance or support the more likely it is to break but until it breaks, it is going to be resistance. So on the downside, ideally, if the buyers are going to maintain control, then ES holds 93 half to 95 half. But even in the event of a break below 93 half, it's not really going to be breaking any major zone. The market will still technically be stuck in a balance. You know, you can see over the last five sessions or so, we've established this trading range from roughly the 82.75 low from Friday up towards the 0506 area. So even if 9350 doesn't hold, we still have a high volume node and support at 87.5 to 89. And then the bottom of the recent short term balance at 82.5 to 84.5, which is really the key spot. If this area doesn't hold, then it changes the larger time frame market structure. But until then, the market is simply balancing within a range. And eventually we know that it's going to tip one way or the other. Now, the larger time frame bias has been bullish, and like I said, if we continue to bump up against this resistance, then eventually it can be taken out. As far as the economic calendar goes today, not really a whole lot happening, except uh, uh, we do have a Yellen talk at 11.30 a.m. Central Time, so there could be some movement around that, so just bear that in mind. The buy side is dominant heading into the open, but now we just have to see how the market responds and reacts to this 0375 to 06 resistance. If it gets taken out and the other markets are participating and all those underlying signs are there for continuation, then you know we could just continue going up until the markets get exhausted. And um, in the event that the market fails at 0375 to 06, we're just going to be stuck in a balance, but uh, the buyers are going to continue to be in control and dominant. So unless we see a strong rejection at 0375 to 06, we're going to have to be cautious on short setups and um, perhaps look for longs on pullbacks into 97.75, 93.5 and 95.5 uh, being better location. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. The market is at an inflection point. Let's see if the buyers can really push it through and we'll take it from there.